Hello Fable and followers, all the random viewers. Welcome to another edition of Fable and Book Review. And uh, today we are starting, just like the title said, book review with a new book. Something recently published in English language, and it's a book called The Anomaly by the French writer Herb Letelier. First of all, to say about this book is that it was the winner of 2020 Prix Goncourt, which is basically the book of the year in the French literature. Second, we shall start with uh, small blurbs, which are usually written on, on the book covers. And here, to quote Harriet Tice, says, phenomenal. Or, to quote Leila Slimani, which says, you won't want to put this book down. And usually these blurbs by other authors can be um, just paid uh, words and sometimes the author is not even a read the book that they are recommending but uh, in this case it doesn't matter is it true or not because what they say about the book it is definitely true it is a phenomenal book so to continue to say a little bit about the book itself and um, spoiler free of course is uh, just basics. So the book is uh, divided into three parts, just like a theater play. And uh, part one introduces us to the characters, and there are many of them. So to say it simple, we have um, an assassin, we have a lawyer, we have a pilot, a little girl, and so on and so on. But what matters more than just the uh, introduction of the characters is then a second part where we get to talk about the title of the book where we get to talk about the anomaly so to say more the anomaly that happens in the book is that uh, sometimes in the year 2020 a flight from Paris to New York uh, has encountered a horrible turbulence which influenced the uh, people, the flight passengers, but they landed in the end safely and continued with their lives. The anomaly happens when, three months later, same plane appears just out of the blue in the skies. And um, that produces an anomaly, because it's not just that the plane is duplicate, it's every passenger on board is uh, a duplicate of a person that was already traveling. So, we get presented immediately with this anomaly that happens with questions that, arose, that arise in, um, in the real world. Because what would happen if we would get duplicates of ourselves? Just from the basic things, like how we will continue to live the, our lives. Because the first set of characters, they continue to live their lives and they continue to have experiences. and whatever comes in life. Second characters are three months late and they have every right to have their own life as well. Uh, but their life is taken by a duplicate of themselves. So, in the third part of the book, the, um, the book wrestles these questions, these basic questions in everyday life. How would we deal and how the characters deal, in this case, with these basic things. How we will continue our lives, how we will continue to have our families if a child suddenly has two mothers, if, if uh, our loved one already died and now we get to experience again the same thing, the person coming back to life, perhaps even dying again. We, those are some of the questions that come uh, that I mentioned, but they are resolved in the book and they are presented in the book in a you know, very, very uh, awesome to say way. What's more interesting about the book is um, how it handles the big questions. Uh, recently, scientists have started to wrestle and involve themselves with the questions of what is our reality, not just from philosophical side, but also um, scientific side. And here, the book premise is that uh, we may be just a just a program, and um, 
it's not a spoiler, but uh, to say more about how the question is handled would produce spoilers. So, in the book we get introduced to numerous scientists, we get introduced to religious leaders, political leaders, they all uh, try to wrestle with this question of such an anomaly happening. Um, two scientists in the book um, have devised, were tasked by the American government to devise um, a protocol which uh, would include so every possible danger to American government happening after the events of 9-11. And they were tasked with a question to devise a way how to handle a situation which is an uh, impossible situation. And they called it Protocol 42, a little bit homage to the late Douglas Adams and his Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And um, uh, they presume that an uh, impossible event can happen. And in this book it does happen. So the uh, anomaly such as that happens and uh, even we see how the governments are handling it and how people come to cope with such great questions that um, suddenly fall out of the sky into, into our lives, the existential questions, the philosophical of what if we are all just a program? What if, we're, what if it was God's um, will happening upon us? Uh, all those very serious questions are brought in this book and uh, some answers are given, but a lot of it is, is left upon us to, to think about. And that is the main thing about this book, because it, it makes us think. While during the reading itself we are constantly, we are not bombarded by questions, we are just uh, stated facts that are given upon us, that are thrown upon the characters which they have to handle and wrestle in their lives, but those are the questions that we are also constantly pondering while reading. So. Uh, it is a, a thriller, it is a speculative fiction, but it throws those big questions upon us that um, we just simply want to involve uh, ourselves with, with those questions, we want to ponder upon them. And, and it is not also a book that just uh, throws it upon us during reading, it's really something, if you read it for a few days, you think in between times, it really starts to occupy you this existential theoretical questions about uh, what we are. So, as I said, it is, it is a thriller, it is an existential thriller, it is a speculative fiction, it is a philosophical work, it is um, a scientific work, it involves so many things, so many topics in such a, such a simple way presented, it really uh, brings in front of us topics with just one sim simple book with 330 pages, um, a lot of characters, but it brings us these questions to think about even after reading. And if I would say, and if I would, and I do recommend this book to read, it is really something to, to talk about to read the book, to talk about it, to, uh, I cannot say to make it obligatory uh, book for, for people to read, but uh, I regretted not having had something like this and having read it when I was younger, when I was a, a teenager, because it would bring upon me the questions, the questions of life. And of course it is never too late, but it is a book that should be given to many young people and for them to ponder about these questions because uh, these questions can involve them uh, in, in their future work to, to go into the direction of trying to define our future, trying to explain our world and uh, trying to simply figure out what is going on, so to say. Um, Furthermore, it is important to say that Herve Letelier is a member of a literary group in France called Ulipo, and it included many, uh, many famous writers, among them Italo Calvino. And Ulipo stands for the Workshop of Potential Literature, 
So this group involved themselves in potential literature of trying to create something beyond what we currently have. Trying to create literature, literary works, narratives that are beyond currently existing ones. So to that fact is what brings us to the very end of the book, because the a book ending is... Um, it gives us also a classical book ending. All the threads get resolved and we get to see the end of, of the story and, it, and all the narratives. But it also gives us a small, nice ending which allows us readers to write our own ending. It represents the sand clock at the very end and the emptiness, the slow trick of time uh, it re represents and the uh, words fading away leaving empty spaces between the words and those empty spaces are what we can produce the ending that we can define for, for, for such a narrative, for such a story and for basically our own lives in the case of such anomaly and since every sand clock has, is, consists of two parts, uh, the beginning and the end, um, it, the trickle of time, the trickle of words is what in the end leaves an empty space for us to fill. It, is, it leaves a place us, for our story that we should write the mirror story and that we should imagine the mirror story of the anomaly of what would of what it would influence our lives. So, furthermore, to say about the book is that um, it also has it's also a funny book. Uh, in many places, uh, Le Tellier pays homage to some other works, to some other authors. To um, he gives ironical uh, critique of a French society with one character, of American society with other characters. He touches upon many things, upon many effects in our world and in an ironical, hum humoristical way. And there are probably many more other nods to some other works and other um, events or just cultures in our world, which I did not notice all of them. More non knowledgeable readers might notice even more so. but. With the combination of all those uh, facts, what I said of uh, it being thriller, speculative fiction, and philosophical, scientific work, it also gives us some humor, and um, it is hard to achieve. And I can say for Earl Letelier and his book Anomaly, it is to first rate it with stars. So, say five out of five. And it, would, it is injustice to say that a book like this, that we have a system of five stars only, this book is beyond five stars. This book is a must-read book for everybody who hears about it, who everybody watching this video. It's a book that should be talked about, it's a book that should be recommended to others, it's a book that simply has to be read. So, Herb Terrier, The Anomaly, 5 out of 5, definite must read and definite to await even more works like this. So pay attention on this writer, all his prior works and uh, all his future works. So that would be it this time from Fableland, from our book review, Earl de Tellier, The Anomaly. And for all the other readers, for all the followers, click subscribe and um, follow us for more. If you like this, shout out in the comment. If you didn't like it, also comment it. Uh, I'm always happy to, to receive your input and to your comments. Furthermore, if you have also other recommendations of the book I should read or the book I should just do a review about, again, shout out in the comments. I appreciate, as already mentioned, all your input good and bad ones and um, that's it this time from Fableland that's it this time from Empty Vukovic once again have a good time reading and have a nice day